Good morning and welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. We are in Juneau, Alaska now and we've been waking up with this view every single morning. Waking up with this view is incredible. It's so beautiful out and you can just see just a little bit of that glacier over the trees to the right side and this is, it looks like a lake right now but this is not a lake. This is connected to the ocean and wow it's been warm out. It's been about 70 degrees every day for everybody that said my pipes were gonna freeze in Alaska not cold at all <laughs> and at night it gets probably down to 50s not even that cold it's been beautiful out and i've been fishing just right here right where we park and been catching salmon every day <laughs> this is kind of how i end the day and start the day just a little fishing from shore and pretty much catch a salmon every time i <laughs> bet you'll catch one right now bet give it a shot i already see some fish jumping And here in Alaska, this flying sea right here has been the ticket. It's been catching all the salmon, the pink color too, the specifically the pink one. I already see some fish jumping here. Give it a shot. You can literally catch salmon anywhere in Alaska. <laughs> That's been my experience at least. It's quite incredible. Came off, or maybe it was just seaweed. I just had one that came off, and in my experience, I feel like I lose more fish on treble hooks than single hooks. So I actually prefer single hooks over trebles. What do you guys think? Do you have that experience? Anyways, let's catch one. Fish off. Oh, he shook it off. Just lost another one. See these treble hooks? I don't know. I feel like they can shake it off easier. Man. All right, it's all right. We'll get one. No worries. That was a decent one, too. You guys see the fish there? My lure is going right by them in three, two, one. Oh. Had a little touch. Oh! It's pretty shallow here, so uh, it could be the bottom too. But there are a ton of fish as well. There you go, there's another one. Bald eagles flying everywhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Now they're just messing with me. All right, I see one. Cast right on them. Yep. I mean, they're all right here. There's so many. Oh, my God. Kidding me? Oh, there. What? And that's perfect. Perfectly placed. Holy crap, there's so many right in front of me. Ah! I don't know, guys. They're not really biting it right now. They're busy doing something else, I feel like. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's a good one. Holy crap! Might be my best one yet. Don't come off, please. Oh my god. It's outgoing tide right now. There's a ton of debris coming through right now. I got my 10 pound test leader on right now. I've been most, mostly catching pink salmon, but this is not a pink salmon, I don't think. Fighting completely different, and it's pretty big. I'm gonna take it slow, take it easy. I got light tackle on, and look at the bend on this rod. Do not come off. Wow, this guy's not coming in at all. Oh, see all this nasty stuff flowing through right now? Come on, come on. It's possible that I might have foul hooked them 
that's why it's not coming in. I'm not sure, but we'll see when it gets a little closer. Oh, I'll get this growth stuff off my line. I haven't seen this before. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I got him in the tail. My bad. That's why. That's why it's fighting so hard. Nice one though. Pink salmon. Yeah, got him right in the tail. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Got here. Okay. Got to release this guy. There he goes. Nice. Ah, this stuff. I don't know why all this foamy stuff just washed up right now. The fishing is so fun. Didn't actually get one right now, but you know, I only cast it maybe 10 times or so. We're gonna go look for some blueberries right now. They should be right about in season. Well, maybe we can find some, so we'll go check it out. This is beautiful. It's hard to leave, walk away when there's fish jumping right in front of me. <laughs> but, I mean, I have plenty of chances. I've been fishing right here every night, so it's not really a big deal. I'll come back and they'll still be there. I always try to remember to rinse the reels off after you use them in salt water. It's pretty important for the longevity of your reels. We found our first blueberry bush. Not many berries on there. Here's little guy right there. Dawson picked a couple off of this. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, how is it? They weren't ready. Not ready. All right. I thought they were because they're kind of soft. Yeah, they're pretty soft. Let's see. Well, that's sour and dry. It's not ready. A little underripe. Yeah, those are blueberries there's for no sure. Left. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. What is that? I what think kind those of are on the book too. Those are those the same type of berries that we just saw? They might be. Oh yeah. Just a little this one actually looks pretty good. Let's try it. Came off pretty easily. Pretty sour still. Might be a little early. Maybe a little less than a week early. And we are currently on Douglas Island, which is right next to Juno, and there are no brown bears here only black bears brown bears are scarier than black bears basically the difference and they're bigger but we still have our bear spray i still have it on me just in case you know because this is there could be bears it's bear season but but we have not come in contact with any bears in alaska yet we have literally not seen one for a whole week in alaska so yeah not much not much action in terms of bears Although there's a ton of bald eagles everywhere. Very cool. All right, so now we're back in our spot here. Uh, we're gonna make some lunch. And for lunch today, we're making a takoyaki corn dog. That's right. Um, I had this random idea one day when I was sitting in my office. Dawson was talking about corn dogs and then I was thinking about octopus at the same time for some reason. And then I was like, oh, what if I made an, an octopus corn dog? Use the tentacles, use the legs as the hot dog, replace that with the hot dog and battered it just like a corn dog and then put the takoyaki toppings on it. I was like that would taste delicious. And we have this octopus that we caught in Sitka. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. We got it in Sitka. We still have a couple legs left of that octopus. So we just pulled it out of the freezer last night. And now let's cook it. I have some boiling salt water going right now. We're gonna boil it first and I'm gonna skin the octopus. Then we'll put it on the skewer, batter, fry, and then top it off. And it should be pretty easy. All right, let's test this out. It should be tasty. As long as I get the cook right, it's got to be nice and soft. Got a nice long tentacle here, about two and a half feet long. Uh, we're gonna 
Put this in the hot water. Yeah, let me let it boil more. I'm gonna make sure that water is a nice roaring boil. We got a couple nice tentacles here and we'll cook both of them. And the way you cook an octopus, when you're boiling it, this is salt water, make sure it's salty and not just dipping it right away, but a little, little at a time. One, two, three. Kind of gets it that octopus ready. And just three or four times and just drop it in. And that one is pretty big. I'm probably gonna cook it for about four minutes. All right, just gotta remember which one I put in first. This one I put in first, and this one I put about two minutes after. All right, it's actually been about five minutes, and now I'm gonna pull this. Should be done. Like I said before, you either cook octopus a very short amount of time or a very long amount of time. I think this one's done too, actually. Now let's make our batter. We'll start with the dry ingredients, and for corn dogs, of course, you need some cornmeal. Uh, all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt and pepper. We're gonna combine all that in here, in this bowl. And no measuring cup, because I'm a baller, an eyeballer. It's a weak one. I'm going 50-50 all-purpose flour and cornmeal. And just a little bit of baking powder. I don't know, maybe like a tenth of the amount of flour. And we'll also grind some salt and pepper in there as well. And... All right, that's it for our dry ingredients. Pretty simple, not too much to it. I will put that off to the side, and now let's work on the wet ingredients. First thing for our wet ingredients, I'm using whole milk. So we'll just pour that in, there you go. As well as some honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on out. A nice squeeze of honey. Oh yeah. All right, that's enough, that's enough. I might've gotten a little carried away. Need a little oil in here. I'm just using canola. There you go, that's good. And I think that's it for our wet ingredients. And now we combine. And now we're gonna mix our two, the wet and the dry together. Oh no, I should've, man, <laughs> that's all the honey. <laughs> Hold on, let me just mix in the honey first. Okay, all mixed in now. There we go. Ingredients combined together. We'll take a little babish whisk and uh, mix this together. Hopefully we have a pretty thick batter. Thicker than pancake batter, I think. That's what you want. This is turning out to be pretty good, actually. Look at that. That's like the exact consistency you want, I think. That, I've never made a corn dog before, but that looks pretty good. Such a baller, such an eyeballer. I mean, that looks good to me. Maybe a little thicker. You don't want it to run off. So maybe we'll do a tiny bit thicker. All right. Oh yeah, now, now, that's a thick batter right there. Seems like a good corn dog batter. Now let's heat up the oil and we gotta also cut up the octopus. I think I should actually put an egg in here. So we'll crack one in there. Should have put the egg in with all the wet ingredients. <laughs> no big deal. All right, batter is done. Okay, let's cut the octopus. We're gonna cut it to size. I have these skewers here that we'll use, and I have this cup. We're gonna put the batter in the cup, dip the octopus like this. So I kind of have to just, can only fill it to the top of the cup, where I can only make the octopus as long as the cup. Probably right about there. Yeah, we'll do it right about this size, I think. See how easy that is to cut? Perfectly cooked. And I'm also, now I'm also gonna take the skin off here. Skin is edible. The texture would be a little squishy. And I'm gonna keep the tentacles on because tentacles are great. The, the suckers. There we go. 
Hmm. I'm gonna try a piece of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go. Perfectly cooked, very soft. Okay, now we're gonna do that to the rest of them. Hmm, these octopus have a hole right in the middle, but if I put it through there, I feel like it's gonna fall off. So I'm gonna put it right above. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll dip it in here. Oh, perfect. And I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on them just to make that batter stick. Not too much, just a light coating. Gonna pour my batter into a cup. Perfect. We're gonna do a little batter test. Yep, looks good. Well, it's hot and ready. Let's throw it in. Let's give the first one a try. All right, we'll sh stir it up in there. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's gonna look exactly like a corn dog. Throw it in. Perfect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Straight in. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's looking nice. Looking perfect right now. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep the two in there right now. Let these cook. Oh, it's looking really nice. Check that. Check that. Oh, yes. And we'll just kind of hold it if it doesn't stay on the other side. This is a freaking corn dog. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Ooh, they're starting to pop. Looks like I gotta pull this one. All right, hopefully this is cooked here. Just gotta take it out now. Just gonna put it on the paper towel. Take this one out too. Hopefully it's cooked through. But before we check, let's let that cool down. Let's throw the other two in there. We're gonna check this one just to make sure the batter is cooked through. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Wow, so cool. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna put this one off to the side. We'll finish this up, and then we're gonna put the topping on it too. Yes. What does this look like to you? Looks like a perfect corn dog, doesn't it? Oh yeah, all right, so I'm gonna put, we're gonna have two each here, and we're gonna put takoyaki toppings. And you know what that is. We have takoyaki sauce, or well, this is actually okonomi sauce, but pretty similar. And we have QP, we got Aonori, and we have katsuobushi as well. So all those things you can find at a Japanese market. So those are the four typical takoyaki ingredients. Uh, maybe some green onion sometimes too, but we'll keep that out, so. go. Takoyaki corn dog, baby. Well, there it is, guys. The takoyaki corn dog. I can say that I've never seen this before. And I think this is gonna be tasty. My idea came true. <laughs> the idea I had, random idea, but I think this is gonna be awesome. Let's go, let's eat this. Uh, we're actually gonna go up to the van roof and eat it up there. I got some local beer here from Devil's Club Brewing in Juno IPA, signature IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta figure out how to open it. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. I think it's pink. <sighs> mm. Woo! Oh, this is good. That's good IPA. No chugging, sit. Enjoy the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I enjoy my IPAs a lot more anyways. <laughs> All right, let's try this corn dog. Okay, okay, corn dog, once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like some kind of... Master. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. 
<laughs> this is tasty. Mmm. Octopus. Soft, tender. Mmm. Push it up. Mm. This is gonna be the new thing. <laughs> new hot thing right here. Move back to Osaka and open up a takoyaki corn dog shop. Look at this, guys. I think it would be popular. Tastes good. It's gimmicky. Yeah, tastes. Mm -hmm. getting great. Mm -hmm. I like the corn dog, like the batter. Mm -hmm. Batter is perfect thickness. The cornmeal gives it a nice texture, a little crunchiness, a little bit of. This guy. <laughs> mm. That cornmeal gives it a nice crunch. That's why I wanted to try it like this. Be a very interesting combination. And it is tasty. Mm -hmm. There's a Japanese ingredients meets American cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it would be better with a takoyaki flour. It would just be basically a jumbo mm -hmm. takoyaki. Jumbo takoyaki. Do you think it's better than takoyaki? Do I think it's better than takoyaki? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Mm. I'm going to say no, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. But takoyaki still is better. Just get one mouth full of that batter, that creamy batter. Mm. It's savory and very hot and burns your mouth every time you take a bite out of a takoyaki. But this is a very, it's a very cool. It's very good. I love the texture of it. It's a little different than takoyaki, but the flavors are pretty similar, you know? Mm -hmm. And I like that you get a big chunk of octopus every time you take a bite. <laughs> but is it better than a corn dog? Mm, takoyaki corn dog is better. Takoyaki corn dog is better. There you have it, guys. Ah. Mm, okay. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching another episode. We'll see you guys. Oh, no! My beer. Damn it. But that was an open room. Mm -mm. <laughs> Spill a little bit of my beer. Lock the beer. See you guys next time. Ha <laughs> <laughs>